In this short video, I'll look at a simple but unusually powerful modulation technique in Nautical, that of converting MIDI notes into controller data. I'll be using the piece called Northwest Reef because it used this technique for an important part of its sound, and I'll concentrate mostly on what I'm doing in Nautical, because although I'm going to be using logic in this example, what I'm doing has a range of different applications. The option to convert notes to MIDI controllers in Nautical is probably far more deep than it first appears. Basically what it gives us is a system of MIDI control that's subject to musical compositional rules of the piece, meaning you can play controllers in exactly the same way as you ask Nautical to play notes. So we can send specific controllers with exactly the same degree of certainty or uncertainty as the notes we ask the engine to compose, whether that be the 100% certainty of a fixed type voice to send a predefined control sequence, or the complete randomness of an ambient voice with a play anything anytime sort of rule set. If I go to Logic, in this piece I wanted to control this knob here. It sends this track, which is a kind of road sort of voice, in the treble register to an effects chain which was designed to blur and shift the pitch. Now that's quite a pronounced effect which meant I didn't want to use it too often or at too much depth. Using techniques I've covered in other demos uh, I'd already set logic up to place that send knob under the control of MIDI controller 9 on channel number 3. This is the nautical file for the piece. The bit we're interested in is here. There are three lines in this piece that are used to generate chords in the Rhodes patch, but there are also two more voices that are also assigned to channel 3, FX send on and FX send off. And it's these two that are closing and opening the send knob in logic. First of all, if I just confirm for you the MIDI mapping for these voices, we can see that, yeah, we've selected send CC for note on, and it's set to MIDI controller 9. Each voice is a follow type, so if we go to that view, you can see that the first voice here is set to follow EVP high 1 with a 35% probability. It also follows with a slight delay of anything between half to just under one second. The second voice always follows FX send on, the first voice, with 100% certainty. And it does so after a time lapse of three seconds. If we now go to the basic view and look at the pitch range for these voices, you can see that the first is set to a bass pitch of B4, which is MIDI note number 59. And the second is set to C minus 1, which is MIDI note number zero. And by allocating these voices their own one note scale rule, we can be certain that these values will be used. So, when the first voice is active, it sends MIDI controller 9 with a value of 59 to the send knob, opening it by just less than half its range. Three seconds later, the second voice sends the same controller with a zero value, closing the knob. So basically, what we've done is use note controller conversion to set up a sample and hold modulation to manage that effect send. And if you watch the send knob in this short clip, you should be able to see it and the other modulations used in this piece in action. <laughs> 